I am Form BX257 here to bring you another vintage GI Joe toy review and my very first 1986 figure review to cap off Dreadnought Week is Monkey Wrench. Now one of the odd things about Monkey Wrench is that he only comes with one large accessory so it actually makes completing him on the aftermarket fairly easy. It also kind of lowers his uh, uh, value a little bit but that's okay. He's always a good addition to the Dreadnoughts. The thing about Monkey Ranch is that in the comic books, he wasn't introduced in 1986. He was actually introduced well into 1987 along with Zanzibar. However, in the 1986 cartoon, he was introduced there in the second season uh, five-part miniseries pilot type of thing that they always seem to do called Arise Serpent or Arise. And there he has one of the most funniest, memorable lines that I can always think of. He is just so terrified of going into this sort of South American tomb where it has tarantulas. <laughs> and he goes, if I, don't, I don't like big hairy spiders. And promptly just freaks out. The first of the new Dreadnoughts, Monkey Wrench, has a typical Dreadnought biker gang stylings on him. He has the sunglasses, a an open vest, as well as a little biker chain, and of course, he wouldn't be a dreadnought without jeans. Of course, his jeans are actually kind of patched up. A, a really nice, uh, a really nice detail. You can almost see the stitching there. Unfortunately, one thing is, is that both his file card and and kind of his his figure as well. He has these huge grenades on him, and of course, he is the explosive expert for the Dreadnoughts. However, his accessory is one big harpoon gun. You can see down here, I've always thought of this, this little canister down here as being a spool of wire. So when he shoots the harpoon out, he can uh, rope things back in. He was born in North, North Wales and went to Australia and found the Dreadnoughts and joined them there, which suggests that the Dreadnoughts aren't like um, some international type of a deal, but rather than a, rather an Australian gang, specifically. The other unfortunate thing is that the file card mentions New Wave movement uh, from England, and I tend to think of the New Wave movement as being sort of a, um, a very self-preoccupied type of a thing. Uh, and, and very fashion conscience and I believe what they meant was perhaps the uh, skinhead or punk movement from England from like let's say the like late 70s or something which would be more in character for a guy this old to me the new wave movement is, is very uh, early to mid 80s Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.